You know, growing up in the South, I didn't meet a hell of a lot of feminists. The word itself always conjured up the image of cat ladies and college students burning bras. But even though very few people used the term, there were still times when I saw it in action. I remember one time in particular when I was old in first or second grade, maybe, and my mom was commiserating with a friend who got sent home early from work for, as she described it, not dressing ladylike. I specifically remember her saying, for Christ's sakes, do they think as soon as I escape from that skirt, I'm going to cut their dicks off? Well, I've been pondering that question ever since. And this week, I learned that the answer is yes. Because this week's first story is about Wayne Allen Root, who took to the airwaves this week to warn all of the men folk out there about the dangers of dating liberal women who like cats. Damn, I'm both of those things. Anyway, he urges men to avoid ladies like me because we will, in his words, quote, cut your pee-pee off. I'm sorry, Wayne, your pee-pee? What are you, seven? Do you mean your dick, Wayne? You're worried she'll cut your dick off? Why? You can't even name the thing and you're trying to tell me you have use for it? Give me a fucking break. He continued, quote, liberals are mentally unstable and mentally insane. They're unhinged, end quote. Which is ironic from a guy who has publicly accused Obama of starting a race war so he can implement martial law, both attending and not attending Columbia, and has tweeted that he believes Justice John Roberts is being blackmailed or intimidated. But it's not just PP slicing that religious assholes are afraid of. Sometimes all it takes to get them quivering in their magic underwear is a hairdo. As we see in our second story this week, this one comes from one Carmelina Reed, who was speaking at the Equip Conference for Christian Women in Sydney, Australia. During her talk, she pointed out that since God is looking down on us, it would make things a lot easier if we divided hair length according to sex. Within a larger speech about how God made women for the sole purpose of obeying their husbands, Reed projected a picture of Kristen Stewart's short new hairdo, to a room full of gasps, no doubt, and said that it, quote, might be more in line with God's good design to have long hair because it was a visible sign of the differences between men and women in which God delighted, end quote. Now, in the name of sanity, I will point out that several attendees got up and left at this asinine statement, but the fact that it got made in the first place at a conference for women, Christian or otherwise, pretty much tells you everything you need to know about what religion brings to the gender equality table, doesn't it? And while I think of a way to break the news to my husband that God probably thinks he's a girl, I'll turn things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. You mean I was circumcised for nothing?